What's up, Black Star Podcast? It's your boy Jared. Huh, brothers, I'm a, I'm a talk about us for a minute. As men, we should have respect for ourselves and respect what we what each of us do and what each of us have to say as far as perspective. See, I see far too many, especially my age group, I'm going to have to say it. <sighs> but I see far too many of us looking at somebody's somebody's experience and us discrediting their experience, their lived experience, I should say. See, I see a lot of younger men when older men try to tell you about situations that go on that can go happen especially in relationships and also with sisters men trying to explain to sisters what happens what's going on, what, what what could happen in relationships we tend to not actually listen to what the elder the elder male says we typically listen to someone far of uh, elder uh, elder woman, I should say. We listen to older women, but we don't listen to older men, especially when older men have a purpose behind their teachings. See, for far too long, we've went with and throughout, we, us and us in the black community, we've went through the world without, a, without male guidance, male foresight, and that's led to the problem we have now in the, in the black community and that is a shit ton of baby mamas and a shit ton of crime being committed by both men and women but I'm going to say this those times are starting those those times that are starting to change with time due to the fact that the, my generation is becoming more curious with the way that the world is and my generation is becoming more curious with how people operate around this world problem is you're still going to have those bad apples out there continuing to push the narrative about black men specifically you're going to have a narrative being pushed by by other races and black, also black women that have disdain for black men and it's going to cause a problem in our community because we're going to look at because we're going to look at every black man with this distrust and the point and the problem is that even when a black man is actually giving you valuable into valuable uh into, uh intellect and a valuable uh lesson that lesson is going to always be looked at with disdain and vitriol for that man or for the man or for men in general so we as a community we have to do something about that and men we have to we have to start listening to the elders uh, older men older black men specifically and learn from their mistakes learn from their uh, their problems learn from their um, their um, their teachings we have to because as men if we do not learn there's no, there's no way for us to grow. And I see a lot of us not growing due to the fact that a lot of us don't have a, didn't, didn't have a male figure in our lives. So I just wanted to put that out there because that needed to be talked about. And I've been having a lot of older men comment on my channel and tell me what I'm saying is correct and true. So, and I'm, and honestly, I'm speaking with with uh, knowledge from an older gener uh, older black male myself, my grandfather. He taught me a lot. But this goes to show that our community has a lot of disdain and distrust in a lot of black men for maybe some earned reasons and maybe for some unearned reasons. For like unearned reasons like media, propaganda, stuff like that.
But anyways, guys, I just wanted to point that out there and leave, put this little PSA out for the black community because we do have a problem with trusting the judgment of older uh, of older men. But anyways, guys, like, share, subscribe to the channel, support the podcast on Spotify.com. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Thank you for listening. Bye, guys.